Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and a new version of my 13th Doctor TARDIS. Now, as some of you may remember, back in January 2018 I did a custom figure of the 13th Doctor before we got the official release and also a uh, custom TARDIS for her. But I was never particularly happy with the TARDIS I did originally uh, using the new series basis. And since um, some people such as uh, Ace Creeper have done some fantastic custom versions using a classic TARDIS and I found myself with another one spare so I decided to follow suit and also do the same. Um, so we have had uh, the official release of the 13th Doctor figure obviously and those of you on Twitter or who have been on forums and things will know that the uh, actual 13th Doctor uh, TARDIS uh, model is coming soon. It's been teased on Twitter. Um, there's been a few teaser pictures of it. Nothing, however, has been officially uh, announced yet. But we know it exists. We know it's coming supposedly, possibly sometime next year, possibly late this year. It is still unknown at present time. Um, so it, it, you know, it might seem a bit um, pointless to make uh, a, a, you know, a new. Uh, custom TARDIS knowing that we're going to get one but it was a nice project and I started this long uh, long before we knew we were going to get an official release and I'd actually already started building it before I knew that there was going to be a, an official release and I'd done so much modifications to it it just seemed pointless to do anything else with it th than to finish it um, so that's what I've done now I do have a 13th Doctor figure here which I will come in and bring in um, for scale. Um, it is unfortunately uh, a little bit taller than it should be but there is a reason for that which I'll explain in a minute um, because the problem with the 13th Doctor's TARDIS is it's a classic style box but with a new style size. Um, so it's a bit between the two and so a, a new series style box such as I did originally is closer to the sort of white, uh, you know, width and depth dimensions but the actual style of the box doesn't look quite right so we're doing a classic one a classic one looks the right style but again the size isn't isn't is, isn't right so that's why this does look a bit taller and thinner than it should do but overall I'm still pretty pleased with it and I'd rather it having I'd rather it having been slightly inaccurate in size but looking um, more accurate in terms of its style and I looked at some pictures funny enough of the um, of the 13th Doctor next to the box, most specifically in um, Arachnids in the UK. There is a scene when she's outside Yaz's flat standing outside the TARDIS. And the sort of height comparison between the figure and the bottom of the window, um, it might be a little bit off because of the perspective seen in the episode, but it isn't actually that far off as to what I've got here. So I'm pretty pleased that I've managed to get the height uh, quite right. But to give you an idea basically of what I've done overall, so overall this started off as a third Doctor TARDIS, one of the B&M third Doctor TARDISes, and then I have added on a new roof which I've built up completely. This is, um, the bottom two layers are card, the top layer is a mix then of card and the top from my original uh, 13th Doctor TARDIS from the, um, it, using uh, an 11th Doctor uh, TARDIS box. The lamp uh, I have sculpted on the top bit and then underneath uh, the actual lamp itself I have just given a sort of blue wash to give it a blue uh, look overall. Um, but the roof's been all built up. The signs I've filled in, you can see it on this side where I've filled it in not quite right but I've filled in most of that. Um, I've added in the notches on either side as well, painted the frames and everything like that. And it's all over the same overall until we get down to the bottom. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will know that the box has actually been raised. And this is partly why it looks slightly taller and thinner. Because I wanted to have the wider bottom uh, panel. So what I've done is um, trimmed off the bottom of the box. And then uh, using a mix of plastic card and milliput, I've added in some extra bits on the side. I've also done it on the doors. The doors all still open. The doors are a little bit loose, unfortunately. So there is a bit of a, a trick <laughs> to getting them to close but uh, the door's still all open and everything like that and it just looks a bit better. Um, I don't know how well the colour's going to come up on screen because the colour of the 13th Doctor's TARDIS is a sort of um, very dark turquoisey blue but uh, in the hand it does look closer to how it is on screen but the problem is that on screen it does sort of chop and change colours but overall I'm pretty pleased with how it's come out. Um, height wise it actually sits more or less level with like the uh, newer series TARDISes so again it's a little bit too tall but overall it looks very good and I'm I'm very pleased with how it's come out so uh, I'm, I'm probably when I get to the uh, when the um, 
the uh, 13th Doctor TARDIS is released and I get one. I probably will do a comparison between the two to, to have a look, but from the pictures that have been shown on um, Twitter, uh, they certainly it certainly looks like a very good box. Um, there's a lot of very interesting and newer detailing in it, and I'm certainly looking forward to it. Uh, but for now, it's nice to have this one in my lineup, especially alongside all my other classic TARDISes, and it looks a damn sight better than my original one, I have to say. Uh, but that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, rate, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation, and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.